Human warfare was like no other, not because of unique physiology or rapid technological advancement, but because of numbers. It took 16 and three quarters of a human year for a child to be conceived, birthed, and raised to an age adequate for combat. The second fastest reproducing species would take quadruple this time. As a result of this, mankind did not fight with large armies concentrated in spectacular hour-long battles. This was a thing of the past to them. Humans spread their hordes out into small units, stretched out into what they called a front line. They could advance over hundreds of miles of undefendable territory in what was called an offensive. Only when our large standing armies were surrounded and out of supply, would they concentrate forces and liquidate the pockets they had created with special units. It was deceptively simple, yet no army could resist. It didn't help that Zeptian culture was hostile towards the military. Our lifespans were fairly long, and no one wanted to waste theirs by being buried in an unmarked grave on foreign land, a fatal bullet embedded into their body. We had been able to raise a force of 67000 men to attack the small human colony of Atlantis on the fringes of their space. They raised a militia double our size and called for immediate support. Now I was stuck on this hellhole, my force outnumbered ten to one. Only one choice remained. Surrender. Grabbing the nearest radio, I transmitted a message on the diplomatic frequency. I am voicing the unconditional surrender of the Seventh Army to all human military assets on and above the planet of Atlantis. I've already instructed my men to stand down. A single word came back in response. Why? I thought long and hard about my answer. In the end, I realized how simple it was. There are too many of you. Overwhelming numbers have led to the war situation not developing to our advantage. Another human transmission returned. That's precisely what I predicted. You should learn to know that quantity has a quality of its own. My men are now advancing on your position to take prisoners of war. Do not resist. 